so the first step in the process of strategic planning is the environmental scanning where we where uh, the companies take into consideration the internal environment of the company as well as the external environment or external factors we had seen in the previous session so this environmental scanning or information with reference to all the aspects is collected by the companies they have their own research and development wings who carry out these responsibilities this leads to the future part which will be deeply we are discussing that is market intelligence and designing global strategies so unless and until you have the data the pool of data or the market intelligence one cannot think of designing a global strategy one cannot move ahead with the strategic part hence now we would be discussing this so market intelligence is the discipline that across the different functions of the organizations aims to deliver meaningful insights for strategic operational and tactical decision making that allows delivering exceptional customer experience and customer value it outperforms competition and brings structural business value and profitability so here when you have the large pool of data and its analysis it will help in making decisions with reference to strategies the operational strategies and also the tactical decisions tactical is with reference to competitors more often this term is used with reference to competitors now marketing intelligent system <coughs> it focuses on the systematic collection and processing of information from all relevant sources to ascertain the changing trends in the marketing environment so here basically this definition states that its total collection and processing of information the information collected may be in a raw format it has to be channelized properly there are many sources to collect the information for the companies hence they have to check the reliability of this information so according to this reliability of the information they need to ascertain the changing trends in the marketing environment here they have to compile the data as required by the organization the marketing intelligence system is a set of procedures and sources which managers use for obtaining information concerning essential developments in the marketing environment so here this system it has certain set of procedures and sources so one cannot think of just moving around with the sources there should be some proper procedure for this now here the managers are responsible for designing or extracting the information from this sources which are very important for the organization to excel in the international markets it is one of the important tool or instrument in gathering information market intelligence is a way of working with data and information on a very high level the basis of this market intelligence is standardization systems 
of data collection from many different sources and its complex analysis. So when you collect the data, you don't have that intention. So whatever comes on the way, it is just stored. So that's why the complex analysis, one has to sort these things. Basically, if you take into consideration the market research, okay, market research focuses on the past things which have happened in the market. Now, a company has to take into consideration the past research, the past trends of the market, analyze the present and forecast the future. So this market intelligence primarily focuses on this future aspects to analytical tools. It assumes the future or analyzes the future of the market trend. Market intelligence includes the details of information about business environment in general, maybe the technological developments going on in different countries, the competition, who are the competitors, what are their products, whether any competitor has come up with new strategy, maybe coming up with a new technology driven product, they may have come up with the new mode of distribution channel or promotional tool. So this is with reference to competition analysis or research or additional information of consumer needs, preferences, attitudes, their behaviors, all this comes into this market intelligence. Now, when I say it is important instrument in gathering relevant information for marketing managers, it's for marketing managers, it's for executives, and in totality, the management to make decisions under certainty, uncertainty, and the risk factors. Because when a company thinks of moving ahead into the global market, to some extent, depending on the market intelligence or depending upon the marketing research, you are certain about some factors. But in the uncertain conditions or in case of risks, this marketing intelligence will help the companies to move ahead with the decisions. Now, coming to the next part, that is, uh, what are the benefits of this market intelligence, how it is beneficial. <laughs> now, first and foremost thing is the objective of this market intelligence is to help or facilitate and make the managers confident in decision making process that is based on carefully analyzed information through this market intelligence. So when the managers think of moving ahead with a decision factor, they need to know each and every relevant information about the aspects while entering the foreign nations. Or once you enter the foreign nations, it is a continuous process. One cannot think of just initially having this market intelligence and after entering into global markets, you stop with this activity. No, it is on a continuous basis. Continuously, one has to be upgraded. The managers, they have to be upgraded with the environmental changes. And market intelligence does this job for them. Now, this market intelligence helps in better decision making. So, 
instead of beating around the bush okay and just moving ahead with the pros and cons and uncertainties this market intelligence gives a proper base for the managers it gives a backing up for decision making since they have the research part since they have done the analysis of the information based on the insights to capitalize on opportunities and to terminate the risks it facilitates the managers towards the better decision process faster decisions this fast this uh, market intelligence will avoid surprises to the managers and all and as they are being constantly upgraded and equipped to make educated decisions even under the time of pressures suppose if you don't have any pool of knowledge or data in hand so here when a critical situation in market arises or when the managers are faced with a very critical problem and then starting with the seeking the information now what is the company stress that it's better they are equipped with the all the information so that even though there are certain problems because in business problems are there they are bound to happen they are bound to be there and these handy information or the data or the data analysis will help in faster decision making process so that uh, the time is not spent much on the brainstorming sessions of managers on collecting of data or why this thing happened everything instead they may have their brainstorming sessions towards solution part instead of what happened and why happened they can focus more on moving ahead with the solution part so in this way this marketing intelligence helps in better and faster decision making process this intelligence wing itself is a separate department in the organizations who play a very important role they are on toes continuously they monitor the things going around they provide each and every information to the company the true information of course and reliable and provide valuable business support and hence facilitates decision making now here when the market intelligence is done through proper research proper software tools are used and the analysis is done definitely it's going to help in the decision making criteria the next point is time and cost savings when the information is much handy it helps the time saving part when the managers want some accurate information it's ready and handy with the help of this market intelligence so here it saves the time similarly when you have a a separate wing it avoids the inefficiencies and redundancies in purchasing and processing business information in this way it saves the cost now here as far as the decision making part is considered in terms of decision making 
okay market intelligence has all the data so here it depends upon the caliber of the uh, managers of the organizations which data has to be used in what format and how it helps in uh, decision making part so though we say that market intelligence is helpful for decision making it's uh, hard to quantify okay here that this particular data has helped in coming up with this particular decision because how you take the measures how do you use this data collected and analyzed in decision making it totally depends upon the managers uh, the duty of market intelligence is just to collect the data and analyze the data and forward it now it's the managers of these organizations who have to use this data meticulously and uh, see to it that how they are useful in taking some strategic decisions in the global scenario now when it comes to time and uh, cost savings the money part okay the efficiency of an intelligence process can be quite accurately measured in both time and money this accurate information is important for decision making therefore uh, organizing the market intelligence process yields better measurable benefits so here maybe we can say we had the handy information from this market intelligence and since the data was handy we could go ahead so here this is measurable now here when we have this uh, market intelligence system a different wing and the data is centrally located centrally coordinated it will not overlap the work so here suppose if marketing department needs certain information and at the same point of time uh, financial department needs the same information both of them at their independent level they would be searching the same data irrespective of knowing each other that they are doing the same thing or the same work traditionally but if you have this market intelligence centralized okay this market intelligence system if it is centralized it will share the large pool of data to all the departments so that everybody comes to know what is the status of the data availability so the software is nowadays it becomes much more easier if anybody wants to access or have the know how of the things what are going what is going on they can just access through this uh, centrally located market intelligence system they could be easily shared so in this way it also saves the cost and better the managers concentrate on their tasks given to them organizational learning and new ideas now when we have this market intelligence at the hand for managers there is shared understanding and insight creation to continuously exposing employees to fresh intelligence concept each and every time they will have new data new insight the managers and together through shared understanding they can come up with the better and faster results that is what is the aim of this now when i say new ideas involving in the organization so when it is centralized and all of them work collectively then in this case they identify emerging opportunities the emerging threats and then come up with the relevant strategic themes or ideas which are relevant at that particular point of time shared understanding in the organization about its operating environment and that way involving a large part of organization in generating valuable new ideas so all of the managers they come together uh, to discuss some new criteria or some new ideas to maybe uh, seize the better opportunities or 
in case of problem solving the problems apart from this one can have the total overview of the market the exact idea of the market in terms of any of the strategies <clears throat> understanding market is in totality can be beneficial for the company to succeed in less time as this market intelligence is gathering data in real time from the market and understanding the customers what they like what are their preferences what are the ongoing trends how do they behave that is customer behavior in making a company to win a competitive edge and satisfy the customers it also helps in retaining the customers once the company through this help of this market intelligence come to know what are the customer requirements what are their needs uh, what they have liked in the product what they have not liked in the product that is the feedback from the customers or complaints redressing their grievances which helps in retaining the customers now many of the companies have introduced the customer loyalty programs or promotional programs to retain the customer every company is trying hard to retain the customers because gaining customer is easier task as compared to retaining customers today there are many options available for the customers the next is uh, increase the sales process or improve the sales process businesses with the large scale operations they have a large pool of variety of products they have a large uh, bundle of products under their umbrella and also large pool of customers now here many a times it's a question for the companies which product should be offered to which customer when you have a large pool of variety of products as well as variety of uh, customers it becomes difficult for the companies many a time therefore it is often the issue faced by companies so we say that this market intelligence helps in this segmentation process once you have the pool of data you come to know about a particular country so it becomes much more easier as far as the segmentation part is considered suppose if you are into a product category where the product is required for the if you are into the small kids or baby products and suppose when you are entering a nation okay uh, you are thinking of entering a particular nation where we will find that a very small segment will come into this while the population when we take into consideration the demographic environment if the population and the age group or maybe 18 plus or 30 plus is more and the baby segment is very less so here again there is a question whether to enter that market as it has a very less scope to enter so here unless and until you have this data or market intelligence working for the companies they cannot take a strategic decision it improves the uh, efficiency mi helps businesses to improve its overall efficiency and productivity by identifying gaps in the processes now this gaps may be with respect to production process this gaps may be with respect to enhancement of the employees the gaps may be with reference to operational inefficiencies maybe the back end linkages maybe the forward linkages with reference to maybe dealers retailers so any of the gaps which are identified in the procedural part of the companies okay this mi helps in overcoming it and tries to minimize the gap when analyzed meticulously by the managers the semi also gives a competitive advantage 
Now suppose if the company is a pioneer in the market or initiator in a business, it has come up with a unique concept. Okay, for the pioneers, if the market intelligence system has worked well, then in that case, it gives those pioneer an added advantage of being the market leader. Now, MI helps in watching on the competitors move, the trends in the business in this case, the market scenarios, which will give a competitive advantage and the market share of the different companies. So when you come up with the new idea or the new concept as an initiator with the new technology, if you enter, it becomes, it gives a competitive edge with the help of all this analysis to move ahead in the market. This is about the benefits or the advantages of this market intelligence. Now, why should one think about this market intelligence? Why they should go for this market analysis? One very important thing about this market intelligence is it helps in self-evaluation of the companies. It allows the companies to understand about their status in the market. Status in terms of maybe product performance, which type of product is performing up to which mark, up to which level, where does it rank? in the market or as far as the industry comparison is considered. What is the demand for the particular product in a particular market? Which segment is gaining a competitive edge and which is not gaining the competitive edge? What are the reasons is the part of analysis. It helps to understand about the overall company and the strategies are framed accordingly. It helps in competitor analysis. If you want to know where you stand and where the competitors stand, then it becomes mandatory to have this market intelligence. Developing knowledge and skills to connect with customers and products, it becomes mandatory to have this market intelligence. Similarly, it helps in facilitating interfunctional coordination. That is, it helps in integration of activities. It helps to maintain the competitive edge. It helps to identify the opportunities in the market. So in totality, when you company, when the company wants to move ahead in an effective and efficient manner, there is no option for this market intelligence. Now the next part is key successful factors about developing world-class market intelligence activities. Now, for best results, market intelligence professionals should assume a consultative role in getting to the roots of each of this market intelligence assignment that lands at their desk. Market intelligence is not responding to what decision makers ask. Market intelligence specialists, they need. But instead, market intelligence professionals anticipate emerging MI needs based on what's the different requirements business processes set for decision making. So here, 
for this market intelligence professionals much more is expected from them their contribution is more rather than just being a intelligence professionals it is expected that by collecting the data they should lead or they should come ahead and ask the managers to think about the analysis done instead of just providing the database to the managers market intelligence without insightful analysis will not have any impact on decision making the continuous monitoring of market developments is one of the cornerstones of any world class mi operations that is they should have the insightful analysis it should not happen that uh, just they have collected the data just analyzed and forwarded no the meaningful analysis should be derived from this data and then forwarded then it becomes more useful for managers that is mi is incomplete with conclusions and implications derived from the findings mi does not function in isolation from rest of the organization so it should be a coordinated effort the more people in decision making there will be fewer competitive gaps which will be left and it will be easier for the organizations to accept decisions also because all of the managers they come together they discuss they understand the pros and cons of each alternatives in the decision making process so that tomorrow if the decision is taken uh, nobody will say that we did not knew this or that if you have a coordinated effort yeah the next part is intelligence scope intelligence scope refers to defining the user groups and time frame that is past present future of the intelligence activities and the specific intelligence topics on which each user group needs information now issues under uh, the scope uh, they can be considered like about the customers the competitors political developments ongoing technological trends that is new innovations taking place or macro economic issues so on the global scale what are the economic issues um, are going within one or the other country now this uh, intelligence scope plays a very important role in corporate planning and corporate strategic decision making now here if we take into consideration this scope of the intelligence then we have or we can think of bifurcating it in terms of supplier industry intelligence where the stress is on understanding the suppliers their modus operandi so the focus is suppliers here how many suppliers are there what are the pros and cons of each supplier so it takes care of the back end activities competitor intelligence will take care of the competitive edge or competitive analysis here you come to know about the competitors their market share their product portfolio the gaps in the products the promotional tools all the marketing mix of the different competitors the company will understand through this competitive intelligence customer intelligence through this customer intelligence you come to know about the minute details about the customers like what are their requirements whether they are satisfied with the product 
whether they need some improvement in the existing product, whether they are loyal customers or shifting customers. So this is with reference to customer intelligence. Now, all this together leads to the industry intelligence. The research and development, the technology intelligence keeps an eye on the ongoing trends and themes and ideas. Investment relations, the peer group and the market intelligence. So here, the backend research is going on, the current intelligence with reference to suppliers, competitor, customers, the government analysis is there. And then to be more specific would be the media intelligence, marketing and sales, product intelligence, the CRM intelligence. So here these are the different scopes which come under this intelligence scope. These are the different uh, departments or you can say different wings of the intelligence, market intelligence department. So it has a huge scope we can say in any industry. The next is the market intelligence process. The intelligence process refers to the process of gathering, analyzing and reporting information about the specified topics to its different user groups. The intelligence process should always be anchored to the existing corporate processes. Corporate processes, by this I mean that strategic planning, strategic sales, marketing, product management, technology, etc in which information will be used. The output delivered by the intelligence processes should find its place as a part of the strategic planning process, sales meetings, marketing reviews, and innovation management, or as part of maintaining current awareness in the organization about the developments in these external operating environment. Now, if you take into consideration the processes, the first and foremost is the need analysis. This need analysis includes a pool of information that is why we need a particular data, why we should look for this particular information basically which leads to the covering of secondary information sources. Many a times, when you take into consideration the aspects like customer requirements, the secondary information sources will not work. Secondary information sources, maybe you can gain through the, you will come to know about your market share of your products, the market share of the competitive products. What are the competitive strategy or promotional ideas? That is through secondary market. But when you enter into this primary research or primary sources of data collection becomes mandatory in terms of uh, gaining more insights into the subject matter. Then after getting the information of this primary and secondary sources, one has to analyze this data collected to the, both the sources. With the analysis, there would be the delivery of the data and it leads to the utilization and the feedback. How we can utilize this data for what purpose? What is its feedback? These all includes the process of the market intelligence. Now, uh, the decision making is backed by intelligence products of different purpose, the format and level of analysis depends on the 
user groups so here through this market intelligence process a large pool of data is offered now who can make use of it maybe its conclusions and implications is useful for the corporate planning and strategic management at the corporate level the decisions could be taken the next thing is the project and processes related uh, intelligence support now when we take the strategic planning into consideration for strategic business units or the sales and marketing department the research department this pool of data for market intelligence helps for the ongoing projects and processes in the organization now as this is a continuous monitoring system continuously upgradation of the data so with the change in the scenarios the data would be uh, fresh or recent so when the projects in the industry is also change this pool of data is helpful so uh, converting the all the unstructured information unstructured data or raw data to the analyzed data is a major role of this market intelligence process so you can say for the managers a platter full of information and analysis is offered to the corporate level managers strategic business unit managers operational managers functional managers and facilitates the decision making process at their level now the next part is market intelligence tools intelligence tools we refer to dedicated software tools that help keep the intelligence process together by serving as searchable database of structured information intelligence tools help automate the routines of processing data into information and regularly delivering the intelligence output to its users so here today if we see because of the technology or the availability of different softwares like crm erp it has become much more simpler and in terms of if you see the technicalities the business analytics part okay in detail it helps in this market intelligence as one of the important tools while the intelligence activity always relies on human processes rather than on technology software tools they are the vital for success of any intelligence program in that greatly enhance to efficiency of storing and delivering the intelligence that is being produced software tools are also something tangible which make them which make them a great marketing tool for the intelligence operations so with the help of this uh, we can say revolution in the internet or it revolution which has given a helping hand again to make the decision process or for gaining the information for this market intelligence much more faster and simpler which otherwise would have been uh, complicated in terms of manual requirement automation has helped it software tools have become an indispensable and essential part for the continuity of market intelligence activity at times the software tools facilitate two way flow of information by encouraging the user base to not only use intelligence but to produce content as well 
so here just mere automation is not going to help but it should be able to forecast or it should be able to present the content as well now here the internal and the external intelligence networks make the intelligence process happen up to the mark now this uh, intelligent process we contain the unpublished information the business information database the market research wing industry consultants are there new services are there so all this can be used to gain the data to process the data so these all act as the tools for market intelligence now uh, the next part is now here with the help of all this data it helps the company to move ahead with the, one of the important decisions of how to enter the market global market when to enter the right market that is making the right entry decisions it heavily impacts the company's performance in global markets other strategic marketing mix decisions also play a major role in this now basically the other decisions like with reference to marketing mix that is uh, which product what sort of product whether to product should be standardized or it should be molded what should be the pricing what should be the mode of channel of distribution or promotional part all these decisions maybe once you enter can be corrected also suppose if it's a boomerang you enter with one of the marketing mix strategy and it does not click or work you can change them but as far as the entry decisions are considered they are more difficult to redress as compared to these decisions so uh, entry point is very important this entry decisions will influence the firms other marketing mix decisions the global marketers have to make a multitude of decisions regarding the entry mode maybe which includes the target market or the products to be offered the goals of the target markets 